Hey, welcome back. I'm Ellie. This is uh, a Disney princess set which we're going to build today. This has got not just one Disney princess, but three of them all crammed together in their own set. I mean, Tiana is yet to see her own set by herself. This is only the second time we've seen Merida in a set, so this, yeah, this is kind of cool. And, oh, hold on, I forgot to say what's called. So this is, what is it called? Um, Aurora, Tiana and Merida's Enchanted Creations. It's like they went, we don't know what name to call this because it's just like a combo of different stuff. So we're just gonna call it Enchanted Creations. Oh, look, there's a Dot's wrist strap in here. Cool, okay, so there are 558 pieces. It is, take a deep breath, $90 here in Australia. Canada also has the same price as us here in Australia, which is just weird. The exchange rate's gone. There is, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the pricing, seriously. It's expensive. Welcome to the Disney search. We've got three books, uh, one themed for each of the different builds for the different princesses, and a wristband! Nice! Let's have a look though at the mini dolls, because that's, you know, let's just face it, this is why I turn up every day. <laughs> it's not, because I love building as well, but yeah. I love the mini dolls. Now, Merida has got this gem skirt piece that we saw in the Anna and Elsa sets. She has got a brand new printed torso and I live for this. This is just, it is so perfect. The ball gown for Merida is ridiculous because she would never wear that. It doesn't even work culturally for her princess wise. But anyway, fantastic torso, fantastic face print. Look, she doesn't even have like heavy eyelashes or eyeliners because she's, she's a ginger. She's, you know, nice and pale and so gorgeous. And her new, I mean, this is not a new hair piece, but it's new for her and new in this color. And look, oh, her wild, unruly ginger curls. It's so good. The only thing that's not good, even though I like the, the skirt piece in isolation, it doesn't work. Let's give her, I mean, it's restrictive. She can't fight bears and ride horses in this. So anyway, we're giving her her bow so we can look at her how she is supposed to be in this set. Now this is the bottom part of the skirt which turns into a gem. If you didn't see the Anna and Elsa version of this, this is what you do, you rip the torso off and you uh, drop it in there and then you trap her in her own gem skirt forever. Sorry, Merida. <laughs> That's what the designers wanted. Let's get her out of there again. Give her the bow again. And there's a gold rod included to turn the gem bottom piece into a parasol. Now, this once again is just absurd for Merida. When would she ever walk around holding it? Oh, a little sun parasol to keep the sun off mind. She is a ginger, so she really should be. Yeah, following extra, extra precautionary sun measures. So she really should have it, but culturally, uh, Celtic princess wise, it doesn't work, but yeah. Anyway, let's have a look at Tiana. Tiana has got a bright green skirt, same, same, same dealio. It's the nice big gem ball gown skirt, which actually works for her. She's got her, she's had this printed torso before, but it's got, it's the new style torso and the necklace is a different color and slightly different style to the uh, to the original Tiana version and her face her eyes I think her eyeline is heavier and everything just looks yeah she, I really like this version of Tiana and third princess including the set is Aurora she is in the pink opalescent skirt her torso I thought was brand was was sorry was a repeat but it's actually brand new she's got metallic sleeves uh, I think the print on her, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare these in a moment with the, with their more recent mini doll versions, but anyway, her hair and her face I think are the same, but they all have these crazy, crazy big ball gowns, which I, oh, look, you know what, they're growing on me, I think they look fantastic, but check this out, you have to see them next to their mini doll version in the normal skirt, they look like giants, though the perspective is still, like, sorry, the ratio is still pretty good, they don't look so bad at all which is interesting. Anyway, I'm going to put the original Merida skirt on the new Merida and it's just so perfect. That's so, so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, and then, but not so good with the uh, with the original Merida torso and stuff on that. And, oh, hold on, what am I doing? Trying to put it back together the right way around. Anyway, so they're the two different versions of Merida. I just adore the new one, but I, I like the old skirt. Aurora, let's find... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the print on her, is that the most recent torso piece? I'm just not sure. Anyway, they're different torso pieces. They've got different printing. As you can see, the, the height difference is absurd, but it's so, it's so cool. I like, I like them as slightly giant. And this is the original Tiana. Yeah, her eyeliner is definitely 
darker. She's got printing on the back now and the necklace is different too. So let's check out what Tiana looks like in a normal skirt. Yeah, she looks good. I like that. <laughs> it works fine because they're both basically the same they just got little tiny tweaks in the newer version on her torso and on her face print okay so this was a fun experiment because some of you guys said can you please put them next to their to the original mini doll size <laughs> so I had to do it for this video and yeah it is it's uh it's cool they actually work being bigger though yeah, okay, all right, I'm 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 having thoughts, but I'm gonna leave those thoughts for other times. Let's start, Merida is the very first, the first two bags of building. So let's get started on whatever it is that she has, what her enchanted creation might possibly be. Let's build it and find out. Well, first up she gets a, what do you call these things? Uh, a target, there we go, got there for her, for her bow. And this is, this is a really nice version of the target. It's nice and simple, works for anything very nice and she can actually angle it looks all right with the ball gown too this is ball gown's absurd with arrows <laughs> anyway so she has got in the original merida set which was highland games she had just a, a little version of a celtic style castle of her castle this is also kind of a version of that too but it's doubles as something else and that's what makes this kind of fun like more than kind of fun but fun lots of fun so these are the pennants hanging on the front and we're up to bag number two already so we're halfway through Merida's Merida's creation let's find out what it actually is I mean I know because I looked on the cover <laughs> if you didn't look on the cover hard enough then it'll be a surprise for you but it might not be a surprise the surprise is always in the building anyway because it's always so much more interesting than than, than you think I always for, for me anyway <laughs> I need to get out more I think right so we have got a circly bit on the back which I think is to put the put the target and this section here is to put this little box that we've already we've already made so that's going to slide in there got some hooks on the front so this is not actually a castle for her to hang out in it's got a different function it is no i won't tell you yet we'll find out we'll do it as we go so on this side here on our little one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, octagon. Octagon, I'm so slow with shapes. Oh, so it's got a smooth bottom, tall walls. And then on the next level, these bits are all holding them together. There's a hook out the front, gorgeous dark turquoise. Oh, what do you call those bits on the top? Uh, battlements? Probably not. The, the, the castly bits on the top. <laughs> and then on this one here, you got some little angly bits out which make it just beautifully castle shaped. And I don't know how to describe the castle ca castle structure. It's just, it's, ca it's a castle. It's, it's castle shaped. And we have made basically a cylinder in a castle shape and a square on the side, a rectangle on the side. This is really awesome. This is a beautiful stained glass version of sticker with uh, Merida and her mom as the bear. It's so nice. And this slides in here, so there's a little drawer and on the back you can put the target and it's actually for holding. Hold on, let's put, we can put, Merida can go on the top here. So it's for holding stuff in the drawer and for pencils, so it's a pen holder. I really like it. It's um, it's, do you know what it's missing? And not in a bad way. It doesn't have any of those gems that Disney Princess stuff normally has, like the uh, the little shiny gems or the little shiny heart gem pieces, which, like, the gems are all in the skirts. Interesting. Okay, we'll see if that echoes along. Anyway, it's Tiana's turn. So we're up to bag number three. This is the bottom of her <laughs> bottom of her gem. She can have her parasol, which, uh, yeah, kind of works. It works all right kind of and she's the one who gets oh my gosh she gets the wristband so this is the first time it's the first time yes this is the first time that one of these dot star wristbands have turned up in a disney princess set so this is merging the themes and got a lovely lily pad printed tile square tile couple of different versions actually no they're the same frogs but uh, you know one's dark one's light and they're facing different directions little kissing frogs so let me just follow the design that they show you here because it's so cute it's lily pads so the lily pads turn into lily pads and <laughs> we'll just do it as we go along and the froggies go in the middle so we're just going to mirror this on the other side so you got four frogs two of the dark green two of the light green and three of the lily pads which is a bit sad i'd like to see more lily pads these dudes can go in the middle and they can kind of be a little lily pad themselves 
having trouble struggling saying lily pads and this pink bit is going on either side to match the bits on the end and then another lily pad in lime green is that lime green i don't know light lime green i don't even know what the color is but it's nice and i like it it goes these all go so beautifully together it's such a nice design look at that isn't it pretty <laughs> so she gets a wristband i mean it's obviously not for the mini doll it's for the the creator to wear and her construction see tiana's lucked out lucked is lucked in i don't know which the right version is of lucked she got she got lucky she's got lucky with this set she's got the good stuff because she's got a band and she's got a build <laughs> so let's see what her build is it's got that gold mm, back of a chair normally piece that you use for that but it looks like it's gonna be a handle some translucent blue pieces to break up the blockiness of the blue i love the colors i love the dark green that limey light limey green in the middle and the blue then and it's really pretty so it looks like we're creating a drawer and the decoration on the front is a little gold heart on it that's really nice and yet not too sparkly and pretty yeah. all right Bag number four. Now we find out what this drawer is for, because this drawer is obviously to put into something and we need to create that structure. And if Merida got a pencil holder, let's see what Tiana has got. I mean, taking note that she's already got a wristband. So this goes in here, Got because they're going to go on the smooth bits and it's going to slide out the front of the smooth bits. Oh, nice. Those gold filigree fence pieces are making up a lot of the walling this they, they're gonna break up like they break up the blockiness it's so it's so lovely some green foliage on the front with gold cylinders and they're broken up too with some translucent green pieces like really bright green pieces this is a beautiful color scheme oh and it's on gold stilts yeah that's so cool because the story like Tiana's story is set in the bayou like on, on the marshy Oh, that's so, that's, oh my gosh, oh, I just love the design for this. The thought that's gone into the design is really cool. It goes so nicely with her story. And speaking of going nicely with her story, this is the top and we have got, well, let's, we've got obviously the turny things, the little white things to make things turn. So <laughs> the turntable bits, smoothing down the rest of the topper with water, with blue watery bits, couple of frogs at the back and... Then we have all of these pieces and they need some floating lotuses on them. And the lotuses, once again, they don't have gems in them, which would normally be kind of a thing, I think, with the Disney princess sets. But the translucent little dots are really much nicer. I like that. And she can go in the middle and it's like a spinning music jewelry box kind of idea. But it's also it's also watery themed and oh my goodness this is my favorite i love this so much okay so she has got a watery watery music box function with a drawer that you pull out oh, obviously to store your well jewelry in it but not the jewelry in inverted commas that came with it but you know it's the idea all right it's aurora's turn we're up to bag number five she's got bags five and six to put this together so the bottom of her gem also becomes a parasol wow okay parasols for everybody you get a parasol and you get a parasol but I'm, I cannot bear to give Merida a parasol that would just be odd but yes on safety I'm gonna circle back to that very important okay all right let's find out what Aurora Aurora has as her build so <laughs> as her enchanted creation so we've got a pencil holder or a stationary holder we've got oh we've got a couple of gems well one gem there but not the same sort of gem as we usually have I like those little faceted ones they're they're, yeah they're nice little flat faceted ones there we go all right i think i've got those yeah those hinges on the right place now i'm so hingely challenged I have troubles so many tr troubles with their angles and i figured it out though i figured it out yay me so this is uh is that supposed to be a little mirror or something i'm not sure what it is so she has got translucent pink cylinders going up the back we got some swingy out bits uh and everything's kind of is on those smooth slidey pieces couple of doors here to so it's supposed to be a cupboard i don't know got a couple of hooks above the door i don't know what's happening here I, I just don't know i mean i can obviously see but i can't see the big picture i can't see where we're heading so some more of these like we had on the back but these ones don't have any of those little gem pieces yeah okay this is looking nice and some of these cylinders piled up makes a pillar on either side of the door okay stickers 
These are pretty. Once again, stained glass version of the, the Three Fairy Godmothers on one side. And on the other side, we have got a stained glass window of Maleficent. Is it Maleficent for Sleeping Beauty? Yes, it is. That's a really good one too. I just like that so much. Okay, all right. Still not sure what's going on here though. I mean, obviously we have got an opening out box. So that's cool. What do we use it for? What is it for? We've got some cupboard doors that open. We've got some more of these. Okay, these are gonna go in the other corners here. So we got them at all four corners of the box. The pink cylinders with the gold on the bottom. Gem bits going along the bottom here. And then in what's gonna be the middle and the hooky hingy bit, got some hooks facing out. So that's gonna be how we're gonna secure this together. Here's the mirror. Okay, mirrored piece there. Oh, matching mirrored pieces. Ooh, lovely. They go there, so they're on the swing out pieces. Okay, and <laughs> on the top, these are securing it all in place beautifully. And then, oh, why do we have jumper studs on the top? Oh, obviously there's gonna be a lid that lifts off. All right, so we're smoothing over the top and we've got some jumper studs so we can attach the lid. I like the fact that we're breaking that up with some translucent blue dots. The bottom gets the rest of those little slidey translucent roundy bits. And this is what we have so far. I just wanna know what it is. So we're up to bag number six and now we're putting some stuff in here. So we got a brush and a crown, of course. Nobody else got a crown. Mind you, I don't think Meryl would... Actually, Merida's hairpiece doesn't even have a hole for a crown. <laughs> she spurns that crown. And, oh, a cake with blue icing. Have we seen blue icing before in this cake piece? I don't know that we have. Mm. And this, this is the hingy hook piece with uh, the lock on it, which looks very reminiscent of the ones on the, the books. On the books. Okay, so you pull that off to open it up. I still don't know what the function of this is. The other one's a jewelry box. One's a jewelry box, one's a stationery holder. <laughs> still baffled, let's just keep building. Okay, so this is gonna be the lid of our box, which folds open. I love it, it's got a lock on it that you can just break off. <laughs> My favorite kind of lock. <laughs> and oh, look at that, so we are smoothing over the sides. Oh, this is a big aeroplane piece normally, like the big part of the hull of the aeroplane, but in pink. Nice. Okay, and on the top is a gold crown, some more little gold pieces, and in the middle of the gold crown, not a gem, oh, just, that just went flying, but a pink ball. I really like that. It's really uh, cartoony and less uh flashy and tacky i suppose <laughs> i don't know i really like it and some filigree along the front some filigree vines so this is the chest yeah the chest lid and it pops off and this pops open and you can fold this out but i still don't know what its function is what is it for i mean it's just maybe it doesn't have a function maybe it is just a little playset for Aurora, a beauty, I mean, it's a fantastic display piece as well because it's all hidden away in a chest. I love that. But the others have a function and this one doesn't. So I don't know, maybe you can see a function that I didn't, but yeah, okay. So I went into this set having limited expectations because, you know, it's, uh, some, it's, it's Lego cramming a whole heap of Disney princesses into one set, but the actual builds are really, really pretty and not in a uh, blingy pretty way, but in a more cartoony, cute pretty way. I don't know if that makes any sense. I really prefer these to previous Disney princess builds. I don't know if that made any sense. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the set. And yeah, I'll be back with another build really, really soon. So meantime, check out some other videos and I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.